Hi Vogue, I'm Carly Kloss and I'm going to show you how to get a red carpet look. Whenever I have a big event or a red carpet, I like to start my beauty look with a sheet mask. It's just the most hydrating way to kind of prep your skin. I'm going to look crazy right now, but it'll be worth it. I am a sucker for a sheet mask. Okay, so leave this on for 15 minutes, half an hour, however long you can, and then remove your mask. And I love to take the extra serum either in the packet or that's still on your face. And I love to use something like this. It's this amazing tool to really massage and deep up my face. For my red carpet looks, I don't like to wear a lot of foundation. That for me is really about investing time in my skincare regime before I'm getting ready. Wipe it off the brush and kind of blend it in. So whenever I'm going to a red carpet, I usually have a tiny little handbag. If I'm gonna bring anything, it's usually a powder applicator with powder on it in case as I'm about to step onto the carpet, if I need to do a little bit under the eyes, on the nose. So for this look, I like a really strong brow because I'm not gonna have a lot on the eye. A strong brow frames the face. You're really painting each hair, so you don't want it to be drawn on like a tattoo, but be light-handed. And then kind of brush through it. Now that I have my brows on, I'm gonna do a nice lash. Using the brush, getting it to the root of the lash and pulling it through. Another thing I love to do on the bottom lashes is to use a tiny little brush exactly for this purpose. My skin right now is very one tone with just the foundation, so I'm gonna warm it up with a bit of bronzer. So now for the main event, I'm gonna do a red lip. Whenever I'm applying lipstick, I like to make sure my lips are really matte and dry. So I always wanna kind of take any moisture off because otherwise you're not gonna be able to really draw the shape. I like to use either a lip liner or a brush to really define and draw the shape before applying it directly on the lips. And if you mess up the shape, you can always use a Q-tip and clean it up. You know, these kind of statement looks, a red lip or a strong brow, it's really about knowing your shape. For me, I always overdraw my upper lip line. I like to really fill in and accentuate the brow, understanding proportions for what works for your face. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter. Highlight the nose, do the cheekbones, brow bone. And then you wanna use your finger and kind of blend it in. I love using the same lipstick for my cheeks, so use a clean finger and a little bit goes a long way. Dab it and kind of just really lightly add a touch of red to the tips of the cheeks. If you want to pump it up a little bit more, which on the red carpet more is sometimes always better, I'm gonna do a cat eye, and I love to use a tip that's pointed like this and ultra fine. And I like to drag it from the corner of the lash line all the way across the eye and pull it out a little bit. Okay, and that is my red carpet look, and I'm ready for my close-ups.